Hello and welcome to a new video. Today we're going to be continuing Escape Simulator and we'll be doing the next two uh, worlds in this one. You know the time. set up like so and there's like actually this one kind of looks like there's something no it's the same IQ oh well here's the HG wells that we were missing in the previous world Healer about this. Actually, is there like anything on the back? Because that's something that is labeled as three. Edwin Drood by Charles Dickens. Wasn't that like an unpublished one of his? So you have Wells and Dickens. Anything different here? So Dickens ones doesn't have any wonders. Alright, brochure test. Looks like a guy with glasses and a mustache. Nobody will find my safe. Which was that say printed 1823? Ink. Oh, just one of these tokens. Not even any ink inside. There are numbers on his head, yeah. So looking for something that's a code. Key for that. I need a key for that. There's a trash can. Anything under the hat? Yes. Edgewood attire. One eight seven six. There's another token. Be it one eight seven six. No, now yeah, my reasoning is like it's a hat, it goes overhead. Maybe that's a clue. Town hall meeting tomorrow. Oh, there's that, so still then halfway, and then all the way. So you're just gonna be there. You're going, yep. Find the odd one out. Two. Oh, this is like an IQ test, so two. Sixteen. 
to see which cube matches one fold in. I think two. Yeah. Yeah, so it's like two C two, two three two two. Was it saying IQ? So maybe it's two, three, two, two. This, no, oh, that's books. On, oh, I can. the answer was three. Alright, I mean, I mostly got it. Look, I can pass an IQ test, right? Man, woman, camera, TV, I've got it. Alright, phonology. Brain is deprived of personality aspects. The surface of the skull is unaffected by underlying section of the brain, so full personality assessment can be created by measuring one's head. It's recommended this method is used as a means for confirming current diagnostics. Alright, so we're trying to find... Need to find personality traits and then we can reference this for what numbers we need to press. Oh. Anything there? No. You. There. Hmm. This one is books. Grab all film now, check inside. So you have six copies of this, two copies of Wells. This one is listed as three. This one doesn't have a number on it. I'll just throw you down there. Alright, so this is a four digit code, so is it like a year? Because this doesn't have a publication. No, this has one. And this has three. Those have different numbers of books in them. So, one is four. And three is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So maybe it's like, this should be four, this should be seven, and I need to find the other copies of H.G. Wells's books. The thing is, I get what I'm supposed to do in an abstract sense. I know I'm supposed to figure out the personality traits that I'm supposed to click on here. Anything on the back? Oh, there's Mr. Edgewood. Anything behind the 
pillows. Yes, there's a key. Brilliant. Now I can progress. And there's more Wells' books. This is two. And there's four. This is four, and there's three, six, seven. Is it really four, four, seven, seven? Yes, it really is. The key back though, because you can probably also unlock this one. This has a hat. I know this has a token in it. Is there anything else about it? Nope, same date. Some more of these. Alright, I see. So, two, five, nine. Not it. One of three is a two. Oh, two nine five. My mistake. There you go. All right, just grab that token. Why not? Love. be important. Memoriam. Melody, language, love of notoriety. Alright, I'm gonna get a pen and paper and write some of this down. Now we look at the phonology book. And let's see here. Benevolence is eight. Combativeness and destructiveness is nine. Love of notoriety is five. Verbal talent language is three. And musical talent is six. So six, three, five, eight, nine. Oh, no way. All right, you know, I'm not gonna argue with it. Did it. Didn't get the trophy though, that's fine. Alright, that was pretty fun. Alright, even more copies of Dickens and Wells, but probably not relevant at this time. Move the chair back to open these. Butterfly. Identical, identical butterfly wings should be connected. Oh, the books. You have gray gate. And you have another gray gate. Neither which are gray. Alright, so identical wings should be connected. So I guess it's like so. Go down there for now. Yep, 
You know, he might be missing some, so I should probably hold off on working with this for now. Collection of poems, and this one has a lock. Alright, I'll set it right there so it doesn't go anywhere. Well, here's two birds. There's one and nine. Moving. Fly. Looks like there's something behind this. It has a key. Where did the key go? Hopefully I didn't throw something important away. Three separate distances. Uh-huh. It's probably something that'll be revealed in the poetry book. Hmm. Something has keys on it. Because it has a key in it. No, I want that. I don't want this. Maybe this unlocks this. Yes. D R E A M. Dream. This? Yes. This box is an, an enthusiast for cheating at Minecraft speedruns. My dear life, my love will always be like a burning fire. This is incomplete. Break out through something out of the room. Achievement. Maybe eight can go there, five can go there, no that doesn't work, it literally won't give me any more hints, them all, all right fine, three, five, seven, two,
In my defense, the hint system really sucked. Alright, so there's like a third bird. And honestly, since it's just four here, we should be able to brute force it. Visions are clearest under the brightness of the full moon and midnight fevers. Right down. That one's all the way up. That one's in the middle. And midnight. And under the full moon. Alright, that one got me because I couldn't solve one of the puzzles or I wasn't paying enough attention to solve one of the puzzles. But luckily it seems like everything else kind of fell into place. Now, anything under the pot plant? No. It's another one of those. Dearest Dad, thank you so much for arranging this trip around the world. See, you went to China, San Francisco, UFA, USA, Rainforest, Cape of Good Hope, Africa, and then England. Mom, 1876. Nothing behind the portrait. USA, then to the rainforest, then to Africa, then back to England. This gives me a light bulb. Matriusco doll. Oh, just that. Another one of 
these. It has a house in it. How many windows are lit? I'll start from here. One, two, three, four, five on the bottom. Six, seven. And one, two, unlock something. This is an old film reel. This guy comes out after six. I'm just gonna write that down actually. And star. One. Two. Finding these like things with the bottom piece to be interesting. Alright, so is it two so two, six, and four, so it could be two, six, four? Maybe there was a, a hint about uh, which order it goes in, but that seems pretty brute forcible. The one with all these bomb pieces on it. Let's go here. 
Yep. Next film reel. Daniel, Lizzie, Victoria, Edward. So I'm looking for one more bottom piece. Maybe this is a hint. Because one's riding a horse and one has a dog in front of them. And the girl's dressed up like that. So let's see. Daniel and Lizzie with mom and dad. So Daniel and Lizzie are the kids. So Lizzie would likely be that one. And Daniel is... Is he riding the horse? Yeah, I think so, because that would be the mom. So Daniel would be the horse, and Victoria would be the dog. We just need to find Edwards. Rabbit. Five nine three seven. I need paper for it though. Use this. Now let's try. I see. So now it's saying two for eight one. Goes up to two. Two for eight one. I'll only just set you there. Three is eight. And four is one. You know, I don't think the jewelry is an actual thing to concern myself about. Don't need you anymore. I need a light bulb. Nowhere to get one, presumably. Yes. Good. And we can hit play. Maybe it'll move up if I find Edwards. Found it. Oh, it's played. Alright, there we go. Was able to do that without a hint. But then again, I didn't get stopped on a puzzle. Alright, that was a fun one though. Interesting, we can go outside. Or look outside. So this is like in the Victorian times and... Among all the advancements in science, there was also a growing interest in mysticism and orientalism. Alright, let's see, there's a botany book. Yeah. Those are the ingredients we see there. It's a hint here that oh, do I have an earth? And 
this is Saturn. This is a Standy. I think I've seen another one like that. Yeah. And they're making numbers. So two, one. This one says A. This one says C. So maybe it's one. And there'll be one there, and maybe even one there. What's this? Oh, oh, there we go. So A is. A is one, C is two. And that's all we should really need, because then we can. Yeah, because then you can brute force it. Oh. <laughs> or you can find the actual piece, but. Yeah, who wants to do that? Playing the game as intended is for chumps. Alright. Sugar and. So I want to see this model of Mars. Now, there's no canal lines on it, so even though this is accurate to Mars as it looks like, you know, in reality, maybe a bit more red, this is inaccurate to how Mars would have been depicted in the Victorian era. Mars, Jupiter, Venus, Earth, Saturn... Jupiter, Mars, Neptune, Earth, Venus. Can't take these back. Can I unclick that? Yeah. So let's see, that's this hand. And the... This one, this one. So, there's Jupiter, Mars. I see. I think I see. So it's one for each hand. So, top one here is Jupiter. So that's like this one, maybe. And bottom one here is Earth. So that'd be like this one, maybe. And top right is Saturn. That'd be there. And then bottom would be Mars. That is there. Now I got a key. Where can I use a key? Here. Alright, this that's relevant to Yeah, to unlock. It was the Emperor, the Priestess, the Fool, and the World. So, five uh, Priestess, five, two. Zero. She was a world to me, but the fortune would not have it. In time, our love lost strength. So, twenty... Mm. 
minus 21 minus 6. Oh, there we go. Recipe must be done in the correct order, so morning bells is purple. Mangrata is that, and then almond. So purple, leafy with root, and that. So this one is not relevant. Oh, good to me. Click the spin and look through the slits. Six. some what is this that's in the crystal ball oh I see oh the almonds need to be grounded I see so this hole this hole this goes in here. So now let's try this. 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 Two for nine.
V O I D V O I D And that's the end of the level. Alright, that was also a pretty fun one. Uh, the kind of putting the stuff in the that medicinal pressure versus that a uh, crystal ball thing kind of tripped me up a little bit, but everything else was more or less smooth. But now we're doing the underground lab. Getting back to the sciency rather than the mystical side of the Victorian era. Elephant. Zebra. What is that? Over. Those are the hoof prints. Oh, I see. Are we counting how many? So, one, two, three. Alright, elephant has that kind of big one. One, two, three, four, five, six. that one. So one, two, three, four. Oh. Well hidden. And lines have that one. So one, two, three, four, five. Why not? Yeah, that's all correct. Oh, I see. Six. Sneaky. That's a trash can. Can't do anything there. Now let's try. Alright. Rose. Well, these do go here, but... I think snake is a species. I think that's all. Like something, uh, you know, whatever. Just play along with the game. Specifically, picking up pieces of the Vitruvian Man or something. The Origin of Species by Charles Darwin. Alright, it's a food chain. Can the principle of selection, which has seen so potent in the hands of man, apply to nature? 
Yeah, so they actually do use text from the source material. That's pretty neat. Alright. So, let's see. Frog is over flowers. That goes there. That goes there. I'm assuming it's like, you know, to smallest, smallest to biggest predator, or maybe. Alright, something goes there. Supposed to count the number of butterflies, and they correspond with that. Because I'm seeing two up there, two greens. Or is it with, oh I see, the patterns on the pots. So that and that kind of dotted line has the yellow and blue. And let's see, purples are two solid lines. And that's a solid line and a thin line, so that's fine there. Green should be there. And reds, but yellow and blue should be there. Evidently, it's a bit stormy outside. I don't know what yet. Oh. Even see this key. You can grab the figurines. Oh, token, I guess, but that's not really gonna help me out. Something goes there. Oh! One more of those. Is there another? No. The flies are above flowers in the food chain, so we'll move there. Need one more. Do we use a shovel on this? Token. Another token, but again, that doesn't help. What's this? Oh, this one. I see. Like, I get that I'm supposed to count the green stripes, but I don't know what order it wants to me. Oh, fuck me. Alright, one is five, three, one. One is one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Two is four. There we go, jeez. And yep, this is something that goes here. Everyone's little mystery of mysteries is solved. First was a number of limbs followed by limbs touching. Alright, so oh, we can piece it all together. First was a number of limbs. Four, eight.
followed by limbs touching the final by limbs touching the pie so the circle so that's four or maybe it's six followed by the ones pointing westwards one two three so this is three so maybe six yeah Here. Not making time though. I think if I notice the zebra thing a little bit earlier, I would have. I saw that, like the zebra pattern on it, and thought, oh, it must be related to all the animals rather than just the zebra. So that was like the big goof, and then just not turning the zebra over to see its legs. Everything else went, you know, remarkably quickly. And that's all of the kind of Victorian era ones. So yeah, nice little kind of romp, but you know, through the kind of upper class Victorian lifestyle that uh, largely defines the era. Got the birth of psychology, academia, got like, you know, kids playroom and stuff with a little bit of worldly travel sort of thing. Then the mysticism of the era and then the kind of rise of like naturalism and the discovery of evolution by natural selection. So yeah, that was a pretty nice Victorian themed one. I quite liked it except for this one just completely get, getting me off guard, you know? And we're back. We'll tackle the Omega Corporation. and the cigarette aren't there. What the fuck does B4 mean? B4... Is it that I'm supposed to think about? One, two, three... One, two, three, four, five... So is it four, five, eight... Something? Whatever. Alright, so the rook. Wow, the 
this is so fucking awkward. The Rook. The Queen. The King. Not the Pawn. Alright, so there's the Rook again. Not the Castle, but... The Queen. And the king. So this, this, this. Help me, the code is on the bracelet that's inside the case. Left is regular, right is reversed. Maybe this goes in there. Alright. So six one nine and nine one six. Six one nine. Yes. So I'll grab that. Employee number 042, access level 2. banana cherries Let's see where you see apple banana cherries I don't know why that one was so difficult I think just stumbling over the first puzzle made it very frustrating cuz I wasn't getting that This is probably going to be important. And, you know, just kind of soured my mood for the rest of it. So, hopefully that doesn't happen again. Alright, let's see. Bamboo. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Average annual revenue. Quarter revenue, 70. Is there like an achievement for this? No. Meeting at 1400, so two. Lunch with Carmen, finish analysis. These are all revenue reports. Don't touch my food and white, blue, red. Well, I have a red. And there's white. I think I can throw this one away safely. So then blue. And then... Alright, 
right, so let's see. 72. Should I at least look at this? These are the letters. Annual report. Another one of those. That's locked. around TQs. This one means six. It's basketball. Kobe. Got it. Sign me up. Pretty much the next LeBron James. Rare module missing. Oh, I happen to have a few. If it would let me, uh... Alright, let's move this shit out of the way. It can be back here. I need a screwdriver. And there's also this. This sheet of paper. Interesting. All right, these these papers probably aren't important. Except a green one. I guess it will. Rear module's missing. Yeah, I think it has to be blue. So let me erase this so. Maybe only the important stuff will stay. I can't erase this bit here. So that's important. Draw your pattern. I think I might know what it is. See, down, down, up, up. So it's a down, down, up, up. Yes. TQ unlocker. Alright, so. What's this? Login password, use TQ code. Alright, so that's for later. ACII table, decimal symbol, 66 is B, so 65 must be A. Wait. Maybe it has to do this, so let's see. This is 72 which is H and then blue is 66 which is B so 
So H B seventy, which is F H B F. Company logo on everything. I see this. Alright, so I don't think I need this, this, or this anymore. I'll just toss that there as well. Disc. Unless, like, I do the two green ones. No, I think it has to be blue. Anything back here I'd want. Just a random watering pail that has a key in it. Alright. And a Chinese food menu. So let's see. So this is fried rice, broccoli, shrimp, and mushroom. So let's see. Build your own special. So two plus seven is eight. Yep. Flash drive. Missing RAM modules. Yeah, I might use a hint now because I Yeah, I'm Alright, I've already looked there. Yep, that's where I got the first one. Is it just the one? Oh, it's just the one. Well, see, give me like two slots here, and I'm thinking, oh, it needs two of these RAM modules. There's two green ones, but there has to be two blue ones, surely. So how many digits can it be? that many so let's see is it nine nine oh three three six six nope of course not I do think the first one is nine oh three because wait nine oh three then it's filled in in the center. Wait, first, second, third, so it'll be nine three nine three oh. Well, it's either three seven eight or three six six. So nine three oh. Yes, there we go. 
Just be out. I see. So let's see, I want this to be one, two, then it goes down, then it goes over. USB skeleton key created. All right. That was a more fun one. The only thing I really got stuck on is finding the ram, but once I found that, everything else was able to fall into place pretty quickly. This one had a lot more, you need to reference different things in order to figure out like the answer to something like you can't just use the binders to figure out the code to lock, you have to use a ASCII converter and then check the binders and then do the lock. Also the keys, that hiddenness was such BS. Like, that was the other thing that was kind of delaying me, because I, if I found the key sooner, it would have gone a lot smoother, but, you know, whatever. They're just climbing the corporate rat race. So let's see, a lot of billboards that might be relevant. I mean, that kind of looks like an 8, there's a 4. Quite a few numbers. It's just a tie, but there's also this. So, who knows, maybe something relevant. Alright, a screwdriver and... Some bits. Another tie. Yeah, ties are going to be important. Let's see. Basic zero cheat sheet. Basic one zero is a simple programming language you enter the commands and after you press run the commands are interpreted and the result is shown in the output you can enter a maximum of 10 commands commands print text color text color 6 print hello hello will be in yellow 6 4 Using four command, you can make a loop. Loop starts with four commands and ends with next command. So four i equals one to five. Print world next i. This will output the world five times to the screen. All right, so I'm probably gonna have to use that. So I'll set you. Here, martial arts, 14th century entertainment. These are probably like parodies of, like this is Lucas Arts. This is 20th century Fox Entertainment, maybe. our way out of here. Brain 
landscape. Let's see, here's red, black, and yellow and blue. Alright, so it'd be like this, this, and this. Nope. Well, we have to get these chips out, I think. I'm starting to be really good at hiding things. I can't even find some of the things I've stashed away. But remember this, I have to remember red and blue floppy disks don't hold the key if they don't work together. So I need the red one as well. Alright, that's info games. That's... Fly. That's Brainscape Similaris. drawer and gets us a cassette. Alright, a lot of waviness. Maybe... So is there just nothing in this one except for a token? Dial BBS number. Five 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 two five six two two two. Enter secret code from dawn to sunset hidden in plain sight. Is it eight four four? Oh wait, maybe there's So that's the only other one. Morning Delights. There's two. So dawn to sunset. Is that like... Oh, I see. So two... Six, eight? Alright, so I was thinking of the billboards. I did recognize that eight, but I I missed looking at this window. And that kinda threw me off. Alright, so that's done. Do five. Do hello world, run code, level complete. Alright, so text color, example text color 6, print hello. So 2, so text color 2, print hello. Text color 5, print world, text color 2, print hello. Hello, hello, world, world, world. 
but there's no is it one to nine world and next one now I take a look at this four command you can make a loop loop starts with four commands and ends with next command four one equals one to five print world next I this will output the world five times on screen so So for I equals three, hello, next. One more world than uh, is needed there. So that's done. And I can't eject this or stop it or actually. Or can I use a screwdriver on it? I see. So Sure. What number am I thinking of? It's greater than 65. Uh 66. No, it's smaller. much bigger. No, it's smaller. Nope, a little bit smaller. A bit bigger. Close but bigger. two floppy disks. I haven't gotten this unlocked, actually. Anything here? Yes. Oh, not, not the key. This the key I need. And there's a red floppy. Three bad sectors found. Those are mirrors of each other. Then this, maybe it's eight. Yes. a very interesting one very mini game heavy this one 
I actually like to guess a number, you know, between 1 and 101. I think that was my favorite just due to how unique it is. Uh, some stuff I probably could have done a little faster and uh, remembering that that drawer with a key wasn't on. What I was thinking when I was going into this was all of these would be connected in some way. So I'd have to do one computer and then another computer and then another computer, especially since one of them gives you a floppy disk that you need, but that ended up not being the case. But fun level, I would say. Alright, the M and R are off. I'm probably going to make, need to make some of those letters off. Follow your dreams, Donald Crane. See what I mean? C R A I N A N E. Two key slots, ownership, meaningful work, excellent growth, ambition. We finally know why it's called that. Mystery of the ages, gamers no longer have to speculate. Uh, what's that? Oh, key, nice. Nope, don't want to get rid of the key. In fact, is this... Yep, that goes there. The elevator still has not been fixed. Press 2 three times quickly and then press the button negative 1 to go to second floor. Two, three times quickly. And negative 1. and squeaky clean. Move this out of the way. So I need all blues there, all blues there, but none in the top three. So when that puzzle comes, it's interesting how simple this level is. It's here. Those two are missing, but triangle X four. four. Much can we learn by observing the space between our thoughts. Alright, so there's that puzzle, so I guess that's up. So top these two have to have blue squares. that resets it and yeah there's a little triangle down there all right puzzle six is done about zero that 
fits into a thing. They went missing on the way down. So seven something something negative one. Seven, two, three, hmm. Is it like L and attached? So it would be uh, L the first one six, L the second one seven, and L the third one four. me to do or is it like this should be white and the rest should be blue Is it just Omega symbols or is it also triangles? Those are X, so those should probably be off. So two up here, one to the right, and then that one, and then one up here. Two triangles. One, two. All right. Doesn't go there. There we go. They went missing on the way down. Seven, five, three, one. I mean, uh, five, three, one. No, that doesn't go there. does this do then? Does it go there? No. Can this unlock that? No. Can this go here? Yes. It can, but needs something on it. Am I sure? Oh, just on one side. So we did zero, we did two, wait, two, six, two, six, eight, zero. Two six eight zero zero eight six two. Oh. 
and now we can go to negative one. Kind of odd how it doesn't work if there's only one half, as if this part is what's important. Alright, that was actually kind of an interesting one, in the sense that uh, the room is arguably simpler than it ever was, and yet, like, they utilize the floors for different puzzles. Some stuff was, you know, surprise, surprise, irrelevant, like the Omega acronym. Other stuff really just stuck out immediately. I, it was interesting how that window was utilized, because I don't think anyone would really think to pay attention to it. Probably why they have to have that hint there. Now we're in a server room. Unbreakable glass protection. Bullshit. Alright, maybe not bullshit. What's even in here? Some tape, glass cutter, and a battery. Panel removal tool. There is no damage in the game, so I don't have to worry about that. VR headset. It's stuck in a loop, virus moves too swiftly from one to the other until they all shut down. Well, he shut down. Hmm. Backup system. Backup 2A, 3B is. 3B, 4C. There's all these for this. Those are all for that. Disc is loading, please wait. Unknown disc. Unknown disc. The token. So 50, does red form anything, 50, 74, have to be alphabetized all right so resets a c f E D B Let's see A C F E D B All right, that's one E A F, B, 7, C, 8, D. So, do they go like that? 
here since I'm so sure that these two are buddies. Let's see about them. Corrupted disk detected. Insert backup. Alright, so this isn't the backup to EA. Where is it? Disk okay. Alright. Where do I put the okay disk? Fifty times seventy-four. Oh my mistake. Three seven oh, oh. locked. Be another one of these. Yeah, I'm out of time. What a shock. Don't have B2, 4D. You have C3, 5E, though. So that's one of the corrupted ones. So these two are good. This one can go there, and this one can go there. Yes, finally. See then triangle makes that There we go. All right, give me this Oculus Rift. Battery, there's a battery. Oh, it's a slider puzzle. And a very strict one, too. Can't move vertical, no, horizontal. Hey, everyone, welcome to my let's play of the Scorn Prologue. Today we are going to try and free Mold Man here. Here, I can move you up here. I can move you here, you back, you down. easier than the last one. Uh, oh. Hello everyone, welcome to my let's play of the Talos Principle.
You do that. You do that. Sucks. There. That was annoying. We're still not done. I'm just going to do this. Especially with how sluggish pulling things around was. And last one, like, I got four in a line multiple times and it just reset or something. I don't know what it was trying to do with that. Now I have some extras. Maybe for another episode I'll do extras. And looks like I have two, D three DLC ones that I can do. And, you know, if I continue to have fun or people want me to, I can also do these ones. Mansion 1 was fun, except for this one, where a dumb mistake got me kind of stuck. But the Omega Corporation, this one was quite annoying, and the very end of this one was quite annoying. I think the the ones where you have to... it's just kind of annoying. Especially those puzzles at the end. Because for me it's like you beat the room, you leave the room. Having to do even more puzzles, especially ones with the very sluggish moving around controls, just gets more frustrating the longer you have to put up with it. And the tic-tac-toe one gave no indication that you were doing it right. If there were like little lights, like you get four in a row and the, it lights up. And then you do another four in a row and it lights up. You do another four in a row and it lights up. That would have been better, but right? But just going through it, it felt like I was doing it correctly. And the game was saying I didn't do it correctly. And this one, just getting caught on the first uh, puzzle, I guess you can say, kind of soured my mood for it. But yeah, that's another episode of this done. Hope you enjoyed the video that I gave you something to think about and otherwise entertained you.